Hello, welcome to Fan Park News. I hope you're all doing wonderfully, wonderfully well. We have seen an exhilarating night. A barnstorming, enthralling night of Champions League football at its very, very best. We'll start off in England, the Etihad Stadium. Manchester City needed to turn over a three-goal deficit. They score a goal in the opening minute or so. A terrible mistake from Virgil van Dijk, allowing Raheem Sterling to run through and set up Gabriel Jesus to put City in front. They continue to bombard Liverpool for the remainder of that first half, who parked the bus. They put every single man behind the ball for the entirety of that first half. They failed to muster any real notable chances on goal. They absorbed the pressure. They did that very well. They limited uh, their goalkeeper to having to make very few saves. They frustrated Manchester City and got away with a really poor decision by the officials to disallow via offside a clear Sane goal. That led to an absolute breakdown, um, an emotional breakdown by Pep Guardiola. He ended up being sent to the stands and in the second half, Liverpool still had that, bar that, that bus parked but countered better, and we know what happened. They put two goals in, first courtesy of Superman. King Mo Salah, followed by Firmino. The tie was over. City died a death. The game became actually boring after that because City's heads dropped. Uh, that, 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 no fight, no want, no, no, no corners. Nothing from City at all out of the competition. Over in Italy, Roma had the same situation at home, though. 4-1 down. To Barcelona, they did have the help of having a 4 1 down is actually better than 3 0 down because you got an away goal, and they were tremendous. A 3 0 victory, all sort of spearheaded and put together by Dzeko up front. Uh, Daniel De Rossi in the middle, absolutely sensational. And you, you don't really see Barcelona get beat like this. Uh, and we know that they got beat quite badly away from home last season by Paris Saint Germain, but they turned it round. They were dismantled, they were outplayed, they were outmaneuvered. Messi and co. had no answers for it. They, they, they obviously didn't get on the, the score sheet, but it was phenomenal from both sides. Uh, an amazing night of football, an amazing night to, um, to be a football fan. Of course, Roma fans and Liverpool fans are going to be basking hugely in that glory, and rightly so, and rightly so. But at the end of the day, football, football won tonight. Football won. It was amazing. Staying with the Champions League... Um, Big tie tomorrow for Juventus at the Bernabeu against Real Madrid. The goalkeeper, the legend, the man who is Buffon, does believe that Juve have the ability to turn this around. 3-0 deficit, three away goals. Personally, I, look, as much as I respect him as a goalkeeper, there, in my mind, there is no way, shape or form of them doing this. If they were at home, there'd be the potential for it. I just can't see them keeping Ronaldo and uh, Gareth Bale. Isco and, and everybody else, Benzema, the, 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 the array of talent that they have at Real Madrid, quiet. Although we saw Roma do it tonight, so maybe I'm, I'm speaking absolute, absolutely out of turn here. We'll see what happens. Finally, big news happening in the Premier League today as well. Reports have suggested that Anthony Martial has declined, rejected a new contract at Manchester United due to the fact that he wants more guaranteed playing time. This can be read two ways. One, has been a bit disrespectful for Martial and you could look at it that the player needs to earn more playing time at Man United. He ain't going to be guaranteed more playing time. Or is this because Jose Mourinho has not used him enough and not utilised him enough? Everybody's going to have a difference of opinion. There'll be some that are going to blame Jose for not playing him. There'll be others that will defend Jose and blame the player by saying he simply hasn't performed regularly enough at the highest levels to warrant a place in the starting lineup, Everybody's going to have a view and opinion on it. I'd love to hear yours below. But thank you as ever for tuning in to Fan Park News. Please smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribing to the Ultimate Football Fan. Take care, good night, God bless. And I'll see you all again very, very soon.